Media Matters tried to flip on the left-wing outrage machine, as they so often do, with this headline. Newsmax host Joe Biden is mandating government agencies spend their time and spend your money seeking to register as much of America's dead weight as they possibly can to vote. And they just basically pulled a quote. They really couldn't spin it much because I said the flat-out truth, and they know it. But they attempt to expose me, trying to bully me into shutting up. This is how they operate. Because when your political ideology is based in part on bribing non-contributing members of society with everyone else's money, this is how you have to operate. Media Matters claims to be fighting for truth, but they are massive purveyors of lies. They just only like certain kinds of lies. They spent years helping the media destroy the Trump presidency with the obvious lie of Russia collusion. Their friends over at NewsGuard, another political machine of the rabid left, which controls most major ad buyers by bullying them, rates Media Matters as trustworthy. Yes, NewsGuard says Media Matters is trustworthy. Not even the left-wing Atlantic could stomach that claim, saying in the past that Media Matters is clearly little more than a political machine. Quote, the ferocity with which Media Matters has defended Hillary Clinton can verge on the absurd. Like this 2008 story taking down Chris Matthews for alleging that Hillary did not become a New York Yankees fan until she ran for Senate. That's a mild example of what Media Matters does and is capable of. They are a horror show. And these tactics are all around us. The left could never win in a fair fight. We know that. Their ideology is counter to human nature. So they've been forced to build these weapons, to indoctrinate people with lies, to radicalize people when they're too young to think, to imprison their opponents, like they're trying to do with Trump who's not only fighting multiple politicized indictments, but filing a lawsuit of his own against the left-run media in this country for inflicting damage by lying about his social media company. Trump suing multiple news outlets for over a billion dollars for fake reports of a massive loss of 73 million for Truth Social. It was a fake story aimed at destroying a beneficial merger that was coming for his company. At the time, the fake story was everywhere. Truth Social is burning cash and piling up losses so rapidly that accountants warn it might not survive unless it soon completes a long-delayed merger with Digital World. Trump's imaginary social media platform, Truth Social, has lost $73 million since it launched. Truth Social is burning through cash and just piling up losses. Records show that Truth Social has lost $31.6 million since... Uh, it was all over the place. According to Trump's suit, the number was an utter fabrication. Each defendant in apparent coordination reported the same exact number, false number, within 24 hours of each other, citing to a Public Securities and Exchange Commission SEC filing in which the mystery $73 million loss appears nowhere. Huh. The big government left-wing machine destroying this country, the same machine that destroyed Argentina, we talked about it last night, they will stop at nothing to control you, to take your freedoms from you, and they'll do anything to stop the people that are trying to save you from the matrix. Take a listen to MSNBC this morning as everybody is freaking out over Trump's incredible rise back to number one in the polls. He will imprison, he will execute whoever he's allowed to imprison execute, uh, 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 drive from the country. J just look at his past. It's not really hard to read. It's, it's time that fascism is called fascism, and Americans <coughs> know exactly what they're voting for. <laughs> so sad. The rantings of a total lunatic, and he's on five days a week. Think about it this way, when you look at the political situation in this country right now. They own the media. They dominate the culture. They control our education. The government is massive and powerful in every single way, and somehow they are still losing. Isn't that fascinating? That's how bad their ideas are. They can control all of this, and they can still lose because what they push does not work, and everybody knows it. 